We are troubleshooting a no start, no crank on a 91 Cadillac DeVille with the 4.9 liter engine. What we did was we tested the battery, did a voltage drop test to the starter. Which is right there. And we was getting power, but we was only getting four volts volts for the uh, starter switch. So I came up the circuit a little bit and I got the neutral safety switch out, which you want to make sure your car is in neutral when you take it out and install it. And then you have this notch there where it all lines up for the neutral but I checked to make sure there's voltage coming from the ignition and the relay to these two connectors and it had voltage but I was only getting four volts on this end so before I even wanted to hook this up, I got it all tied in. I had my meter on there and I got my voltage. So just to double check, I ran it down there, put it on there. And you want to be careful, you want to make sure it's in neutral or park before you even do any of this. That way it doesn't lunge forward. But I connected this onto the solenoid of the starter. Turn the key and started just fine. That's all the lights were working when you turn the key to the on position. So I knew it wasn't the ignition switch and I could hear relays. And the starter relay on this thing is right there. The second one up on the left is the starter relay underneath the uh, dash here. And that's held in by four screws. Right now we got the old neutral safety switch hooked up and we are gonna test the voltage for it. Okay. Yeah, we, we got nothing, so that just, just confirms that the neutral safety switch is bad. One more thing you can do to check this, to try to see for sure if it's bad, especially if it's real expensive for the car. When you have this out, you can uh, sit here and turn this from park to neutral and you can uh, figure out if it's definitely the switch. Because when we did it, the, it only did it every once in a while. But I, I'd move it to uh, neutral, it'd start, then put it in reverse, one start, put it in park, one start. Then I'd just toggle it back and forth and every once in a while it start so and then I check the voltage at the end when I do it and I'd get voltage sometimes in park and sometimes I wouldn't get any voltage so that's another way you can also check that I found out made it a little easier to confirm Okay, to get to everything easy, take off the clamp, go on and screw the top of the air box, take out the air cleaner, then you got three 
10 millimeter bolts. Then you got a screw right there for the tube. All well, comes out pretty simple. You just take these wires off and the hose off the box right here. This pulls right out. And just pull it straight up and out like this. And then to get to the sensor, you'll be disconnecting that harness and that harness. And then see if I can get in here. On the sensor you have Thirteen millimeter bolt right on the uh, switch here, and then the bolt for the shift lever is fifteen, and then you got another one. Right there. That's 13. You take those out, disconnect the wire harness, and it pulls right out. You got one more wire that is connected right here that goes to the starter, and that runs right up to here. It goes to your solenoid. I might pay you 10 good 